Hello and welcome back to this series of design and technology videos for primary school teachers and teaching assistants. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a pirate ship. Very popular topic in, in primary schools. Um, I've designed this um, template, a uh, fold up template. Um, we now have colour photocopiers here at Ivydale. Um, and this, I've then enlarged this onto a free card. And before we cut it out, um, as always with a template like this where there are fold lines, it's really worthwhile scoring all the dotted lines. So I use a small screwdriver, you could use a blunt knife, don't use anything sharp because you don't want to actually cut through the card. Um, and when you've cut, scored all of the lines, I'm not going to make you watch me do all of them, uh, there are three holes that the masts are going to go through. Um, so I just use um, a sharp pencil to make these holes, put a sponge block behind and push the pencil through, don't push it all the way through. And then that's, going, that's the main mast in the gun deck. I'm not a maritime expert, I hope I've got my terminology right. And you could punch out the um, gun ports where the cannons are going to go using the same technique. Um, I'm going to actually do a use a hole punch later on. Um, the next step is to um, cut it out. And you end up with the main ship, um, two supports, um, a rudder, which is there, and if you're going to use it, a pirate flag. Perhaps you might want to get your children and your pupils to design their own pirate flag. And, um, oh, I've just noticed this, I haven't actually punched these ones out. Spot the mistake, there we go. And the last one. And because we've scored these uh, dotted lines, these fold lines, it folds up really easily. Perhaps it would be nice to have slightly thicker card than this, but uh, it's just about strong enough. Most of the folds are mountain folds, it's folded that way. There are some um, valley folds and they're shown on the template with the letter V. So look out for the valley folds. Um, on the gun deck here there's two valley folds, there's one there and one there. So go round and fold up all of the folds. This, this tab here is going to be folded all the way round to, to, to strengthen that deck. Nearly finished, I'm just going to do the bows now. So that's all the folds now ready to glue it together. Now for gluing you could use um, stick glue, it works quite well. Um, when I did this with 90 children here at Ivydale we used glue guns, I, I had another adult um, helping me. Um, we were rather, rather adventurous, we did it with uh, year three pupils who, who managed really well. It was a full on two hour session for a class of 30. Um, perhaps it would have been better to have done it but perhaps with year four. Uh, I'm going to use a glue gun to glue this together, this is a low melt glue gun. Um, I think I'm going to glue that tag back first of all. back just to strengthen it. Um, I think I'm going to do the gun deck. First of all I'm going to zigzag some glue along there and that's folded down 180 degrees. Can you see that? Yep. And then the other side. There we go. And that is glued across to the other side. This is low melt glue so you haven't got much time to get it in position. 
when we were doing this with your three pupils, um, uh, we did the, the uh, hot gluing, glue gunning for them. Uh, now we're going to glue the bows together. Uh, I'm not sure about the sequence here. I think I'm going to glue that tab first. And then hopefully I'll just be able to get the glue gun in for the, the, the very front part of the, sh of the ship. I'll glue that along there. Probably could have done that a little bit better. And then work some glue along that leading edge. Like that. And taking great care with your fingers, bring those two edges together. So that's the uh, bows of the ship. Now we're going to do the uh, quarter deck, where the captain's cabin is. Um, I think I'll do this stern first of all. Still haven't quite made my mind up on the right sequence. But I think I'll glue that tab there. I must try this with uh, st stick glue. Obviously it won't be so fast, but uh, let's see. So can you see how I've stuck that? And now we're going to glue the quarter deck down onto those two tabs. So some glue on that tab there. And some glue along here. Again, you've got to be quite quick. This low melt glue sets in about five seconds. There we go. So there's the finished hull really, we've got the quarter deck there, the gun deck. Um, at this point I'm going to make some holes for the uh, guns that we're going to fit later on. You could put a sponge block under here, it's quite awkward, perhaps that way round, and then push a pencil through. You've got double thickness card, but a, a sharp pencil still goes through. Um, I've got this um, hole punch here, which means I can quickly punch out the holes that the cannons are going to go through later on. I'll do the other side later. Okay, uh, before we go any further, um, well, let's make a little stand to actually support the um, pirate ship. Um, remember those two uh, blue pieces here? If you fold them in half and then cut out that triangle like that, same with the other one. And then valley fold those two folds. And you're going to need a piece of thick cardboard and we're going to glue these down like this. When I first did this I glued them together and then glued them down and I discovered that um, they were too, they weren't strong enough, they were wobbly. But if you glue them down spaced apart they're, they're much stronger. So zigzag the glue, one near one end this piece of cardboard, perhaps I should say, is about 20 centimetres by 8 centimetres. And then we put the other support at the other end, making sure you've got the triangle the right way round. There we go. And that makes a handy support to stop your pirate ship from tipping over. Okay, uh, next we're going to fit the rudder, that's this piece here that we cut out earlier. Um, it's, valley, it's a mountain fold down the middle and then valley fold those two triangles to produce that shape there. Can you see that? And that's going to be glued onto the uh, stern of the ship. So first of all I'm going to glue it together and then glue it to the stern. So 
that goes on there like that. There we are. Have you got that? Okay, we're making good progress here. Now the masts, um, I have produced um, a guide here. Obviously, you can change masts. There are lots of different arrangements. Uh, we've got the main mast in the middle, the foremast at the front, and the mizzen mast uh, uh, at the back. Um, I've used three millimeter wood dowel here. Um, the main mast is about 34 centimeters long, and the uh, the other two ones about 25 and one's 28. Uh, getting these through is a little bit tricky. What I do is I use the mast to open out the hole a little bit, put some glue on the end of the mast, and then very quickly push it down through the hole and push it right down into the keel and hopefully there's still a little bit of glue left on the end so that it will be glued top and bottom. And we we'll quickly do, I'll show you, do one more. So put some glue on the end of the ma mast and then quickly push it down through the hole and then right down into the keel. You can actually feel it reach the keel with your finger. Um, the sails I use just pieces of white paper. Um, I make a hole near the top, not too close to the end, not too close to the edge, and then the, the sail can be threaded on to the mast, it's obviously not the way that real sails were attached, and it can be slid down, and then you could add a top mast with a smaller piece. I would encourage the pupils to do some designs for their sails. Perhaps some stripes or skull and crossbones. Like that. Uh, here's one I made earlier. And we've got the, the foremast, the main mast and the mizzen mast. Um, there is a Pirate, a double sided pirate flag on the template which is glued on top and I think hopefully you can see the um, cannons here I've used pieces of 5mm wood which I've used a black marker pen to colour black and they just push in you might need to glue them in you could perhaps use black black drinking straw so that's my finished uh, pirate ship um, you could add perhaps some string for rigging, perhaps a bow sprit, another piece of dowel sticking out the front. Um, I hope you enjoy making it. The um, free template is available on my website. Thanks for watching.